Dear Lord, we love you. Thank you for being with us, for caring for us, for loving us. You gave yourself for us so that we might have eternal life and intimate connection with you. Thank you for being our Savior, our Shepherd, our Shelter, and our Friend. Closing our eyes, let this truth be our reality as we settle into a relaxed, easy posture, secure in the knowledge that in you we are safe. In you, we are home. You are trustworthy, watching over us as we wake and sleep, encouraging us to lay down our burdens and enter your peace so that we might enjoy the sacred rest you long to give us. Let us trust now that all our needs will be taken care of and focus on your kingdom first, opening ourselves to your divine presence and strengthening, noticing your holy breath entering us, reminding us that you are with us always in every breath we take, every moment of our lives. Mindful and aware of this, let us enjoy the natural, peaceful rhythm of our connection, entering more and more fully with every breath into the blissful rest you offer us right now, choosing, like Mary, the better part. Curling up in your arms, we cast our cares on you and allow you to manage our affairs while we spend precious time of rest, relaxation, and renewal with you. When our mind wanders, let us simply bring it back to you, to your breath entering us, grounding us in this moment and in you. If we feel distraction or resistance, help us accept these without judgment, trusting that you understand our weaknesses and meet us in this very human place. You will never leave or forsake us. When we experience your Spirit's gentle prompt to return our awareness to you, Help us do so, refocusing on your presence here and now, relaxing more and more deeply into your arms, like a child nestling in a loving parent's lap, enfolded by your loving presence and care. Mindful again of the breath, Let us breathe in your peaceful, soothing energy, noticing how your breath fills us, and release to you any stress we might be experiencing on the exhalation, any confusions or burdens, wants or concerns that we might be carrying. Let us continue to breathe like this, inhaling and noticing how our body responds to your breath entering it, filling it with life, and exhaling whatever is not needed anymore to you, letting it drain out of us so we might be open and receptive, receiving the peace and stability only you can give us.
If there is any part of us that needs deeper relaxation, let us attend to that now, paying attention to our body and the way your life breath moves through it. Scanning our body, let us notice how it is doing. Feeling the areas that are carrying tension, difficulty, or struggle. Starting with the top of our head. Feeling whatever sensations are present there. Any discomfort, any tensions, any tightness. Now, let us relax, soften, and open around whatever we're experiencing. Releasing this into your care and healing. Knowing that you, Lord, are our shield, our glory, the one who lifts our head high. Letting whatever is not of you go so our mind can be renewed and refocused on you. Next, let us move our awareness to our face, the face that has carried so much for so long. Let us notice if we're holding anything in the muscles there, especially the jaw. And allow ourselves to soften this and release it, relaxing it, turning our face to you so that it might experience and reflect your peace, love, and compassion. Rolling our head in a circle, let us release all that is held in our neck. This neck that has supported the weight of our head and our concerns. Feeling whatever might be there. Relaxing it. Letting any hardness, any stiffness, any yokes upon it to go. And allowing the neck to rest in a relaxed and easy way. Binding your mercy, your truth, and your grace around it. Next, let us pay attention to our shoulders and back. These parts of the body that courageously carry our burdens. Let us breathe into them, relaxing whatever tightness they may hold, releasing their struggles, their burdens to you. Allowing your strength to fill them. Letting this be the day their burdens are removed. And knowing that they too can rest in you, in your grace, even in the midst of struggles and difficulties.
bringing our attention down to the arms, the wrists, and the hands, and all that they have carried and supported. Let us feel the sensations there. Thankful for the services they render every day. And now, releasing them. Relaxing them. Letting your strength make them strong and supple. Now, let us bring attention to the chest and to our heart, the wellspring of life with all its longings, burdens, and pains. Gently let us allow these to begin to open and soften. Remembering that our heart is your dwelling place, and you are its lover. Letting our heart open to you. Allowing your holy love to fill it. Saturate it. Letting the peace of Christ rule in our heart and inviting your gracious heart of wisdom and compassion to renew us. Now, moving our attention to the stomach and abdomen, feeling all the sensations within. Let us relax and release any tensions, any tightness there to you in an open and easy way allowing you to search all our inward parts and renew them. Breathing out anything that's not of you, that you would not have us hold on to, and freeing the digestive system you have given us to do its powerful, nourishing work, so that you might satisfy our belly with the fruits of your garden and our lips. As our attention travels down through our spine to the pelvis, these parts of the body that hold us with courage, dignity, and strength, help us become aware of any tensions held there and to breathe these out, to release them to you. Remembering that we heal as we bring our caring attention to whatever is ailing, inviting your loving attention to these parts, opening ourselves on the in-breath, to your nurturing, renewing energy. Next, let us bring our attention down through our thighs, to the knees, our lower legs, our ankles, our feet, all of which have carried us through our life journeys. Noticing any areas of tension 
or tightness these might be experiencing. And feeling gratitude for them as we release and relax them, allowing them to rest as you carry and make straight paths for us. Lord, thank you for these bodies you have created and given us. We trust that caring for them and allowing you to care for them is a way we show our gratitude for your marvelous gift. Help us to be good stewards of these fearfully and wonderfully made temples you have placed in our care. Thank you for your healing energy, for the renewal flowing through our body, from our feet, up our legs, through our pelvis, torso, arms, neck, and head. You have told us that the body is for the Lord, and the Lord is for the body. We give you total dominion over our body as we allow any remaining resistance, any remaining tension to drain from us. Attend now, we pray, to any other places in our body that still need renewal so that no part is missed. Thank you, Lord, for this time of nurture and healing, of release and renewal, of communion with you. Thank you for enfolding us in your peace, for shining your light of love and care in and through us. You have blessed us through this time of rest in your life-giving presence. You are our treasure, the delight of our hearts. Help us turn to you, to rest in you, to relax into your arms daily, knowing that you have overcome the world, that you are strong and mighty to save. You are our safe space, our rock, fortress, and foundation, and your arms are home. In the name of our Lord, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.